so welcome to this video and here in this lecture i am going to talk about absorption of radiation by a bound electron so when an electron uh, sorry when electromagnetic radiation is incident on the bound electron the electron starts oscillating that means a wave is coming in this form are just considering electric component when it interacts with the electron it keep on oscillating under the influence of this electric field vector is coming in this direction so i am just considering only the electric component and this electron will absorb some energy that means this oscillating electron will absorb some energy and this absorbed energy and this energy is absorbed by the electron which is bound it is equal to work done on the electron by radiation field so therefore rate of doing work is defined as mathematically rate of doing work defined as mathematically d e over d t its energy it is e dot j t to back prime Because it is set into oscillation, the motion and moving electron constitute the current density. Now, this current density can be defined in discrete form: q alpha, v alpha, q alpha is the charge or a particular electron. So this way, that how we would define this current density. and this is we have taken or we have considered equation number 3.123 from the book sp puri now for our case we are having charged particle is electron so therefore j is equal to e velocity of the electron and x prime minus x it's a delta function now the total work done by the radiation can be obtained by integrating this above equation it is minus infinity to plus infinity for time e dot j and let me do further mathematics it is d q x e e v So these two terms are constant. Then these can be taken outside. And if I take its integral, so it is e, it is v dot 
dt it's integral from minus infinity to plus infinity because when I try to solve this integral then how it looks like so it is d cube x e e v delta function x minus x t right so here I can take this constant so it is d cube x v delta x prime minus x t so if I take it's integral using the definition of delta function and it is simply it is v as a function of t right that's what we are getting so if I use this here then this integral reduces to this form so this is one equation Now, I'm not going into the mathematics in more detail in this article. So, if I use the, or if I consider Fourier representation of xt et x is the position it is the electric field and delta k minus k prime then let us consider the equation so x t can be written as 1 over 2 pi under the root it is minus infinity to plus infinity x vector as a function of omega e raised to per minus iota omega t d omega another equation and et can be considered as 1 over 2 pi under the root minus infinity to plus infinity it is e as a function of omega e raised per minus alpha omega t and t omega and next I have to consider delta function and delta function is nothing but it is 1 over 2 pi minus infinity to plus infinity and e raised per minus iota k minus k prime that is dx sorry x should be there right so I have to use these three for its representations and also I will consider x from earlier lecture that x is equal to e by m polarization vector unit vector along the polarization direction e naught e raised to power or exponential of iota kz minus omega t whole divided by omega naught square minus omega square minus iota omega gamma t so if I use these second and third equation so we can directly calculate that thing using 2 and 3 we can directly calculate or simply we can say that So it can be directly calculated as e square by m e omega naught square 2 omega square gamma t over omega naught square minus omega square whole square and uh, omega square gamma t square now 
¿no? Let us define the absorption cross section. Our absorption cross section can be defined as absorbed per unit frequency interval and which is divided by incident energy per unit area and per unit frequency. So using this definition, its value will be E square by M E omega naught mod square and two omega square gamma T whole divided by omega naught square minus omega square whole square plus omega square gamma t square and this whole is divided by this term and this is equal to c over pi c over 2 pi e omega naught mod square and this will cancel out with it so this after simplification will become because it will become 2 pi by c so it is this 2 pi is multiplied by this 2 it is 4 pi e square by mc omega square gamma t divided by omega naught square minus omega square square plus omega square gamma t square so this is the equation for absorption. We call it as equation number four and this as equation number five. So this is the required expression for energy absorbed by the bound electron. So if I use gamma is equal to omega naught square tau as we did in the earlier lecture and tau is equal to 2 by 3 e square mc cube and this lambda naught prime sorry lambda naught cross is equal to c by omega naught. So if I use these three equations in equation number five, these values in equation five, this sigma absorption is equal to C by lambda not cos square it is omega square gamma gamma t upon omega not square minus omega square whole square plus omega square gamma t square that's what we are getting now let us discuss three different cases as we did in the earlier lecture so I am not going into the detail of these special cases here because the whole of the mathematics will remain almost similar. This is the first case when omega is very much less than omega naught. Then this will become
omega naught raised to power 4 and the case 2 when omega is nearly equal to omega naught in that case this will become 3 pi by 2 lambda naught square gamma gamma t upon omega naught minus omega whole square plus gamma t by 2 whole square and this is the case 3 when omega is omega naught by lambda not cross square gamma gamma t over omega square these are the different special cases which we are getting and these uh, expressions look similar to the earlier lecture and uh, basically scattering from a bound electron but they are little bit different from each other. So with this, this lecture is finished. And thanks for watching this video.